Hello, my name is Rod Bates and I'm the owner of Koinonia Guide Service. On behalf of our staff and our sponsors, we'd like to thank you for fishing with us. It is our mission at Koinonia Guide Service to provide you a safe, educational, productive, and memorable experience while exposing you to God's wonderful creation. We see God's great power in the fact that He's created the Susquehanna River, and we see His goodness to us in the fact that He gives us the time, the ability, and the opportunity to enjoy this wonderful creation. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And thank you for choosing Koinonia Guide Service. All right, this morning I'm happy to announce that we got Al Winko with us. Uh, Al's on the right here. He's the owner and the maker of the Winko Custom Lures. You often hear me talk about them or write about them, or if you watch our videos, you see them. And uh, left is his fishing partner today, Howie. Good morning, guys. Al, are you going to give us some lessons today on your lures? Sure. Absolutely. All right, we're going to go up here and try to whack some smallies and uh, teach you how to use the Winko Custom Lures. Okay, first hole, how he's hooked up hole? here with a... No. Nope. Got a little one coming in here on a Lucky Craft. Nice and smooth. Little guy. Little more, Howie. There we go, buddy. Thank you. Just lay him right here. First fish of the morning, 15 inch smallie going back. On the lucky craft. Okay, Howie's got one. What do you got him on, Howie? Will he want to be hair jig? Will he want to be hair jig? Here's the light. Oh, okay. So will he want to be with hair on it? Okay. Is that on the Willie, Howie? Grew, yeah, it grew a beard. <laughs> here we go. The Willie right. wannabe. Battling smallmouth. All right, no big fish yet, but love the tug, are still fun. <laughs> Let's get a shot of that then, Howie, once you get him out of his mouth. And what head's that on then? That's on the 3 16th ounce stand-up jig okay. single wire guard. All right, there you go, guys. You really want to be with a rabbit hair. Oh, let me... The hair's okay. light. I don't have any of them. You hiding them. <laughs> Secret bait, cool, good job. Thanks. All right, we just put uh, the Winco Custom Tube on. Here's one, and Howie's got another one coming, so we'll have a double here. Okay, I'm ready. Watch my rod tip. Oh, you step on my rod. Sorry. That's a better fish, Howie. Get him in there, buddy. Wow, good fish. Ooh. All right, thanks. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll get a length on him and then we'll know what by picture. Right. Nice job, Howie. Thank you. Howie, what color was that? That was the uh, Smoke Purple 2. Smoke Tur Purple 2, right there, guys. He just Single caught it. Single wire weed guard, quarter ounce, two pins. And that was this Angler Ward fish right here. 19 inch, beautiful smallmouth. Thank you, Lord. Okay, that didn't take Howie long. Let's back at him again. Same bait, Howie? Same bait. All right, Same beautiful. Bait. Now this small guy. Of course, you just released an angler ward, so, so they're all small compared to that. Thank you, Lord. Another one on the clicker. Winco Custom Tube does it again. Like I said, don't tell me, show me, brother. Better fish, huh? Listen to that braided line sing. <laughs> Check his shoes, Rod. He stepped in something. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever he stepped in, I'm happy with it. Yeah, chunky fish, huh? Did he get you? I just got poked with the uh, wire guard. Oh, scared you. <laughs> I thought it was the barber though. Yeah. Right, drop the boat down about 15 feet. All right. All on the end of the pool. That's where you... Just lost one on the Lucky Craft, but we did get this one. A nice smallie on the Winco Custom 2. 
16 and 3 quarter inch smallie going back. He's got a little blotchy bass syndrome right there on his mouth. Yeah, that's looking good. So how how you changed your lure? You went back to the what? I'm fishing here. Fishing the uh, cold really? water hair's delight. Cold water hair's delight. Was it that was like the first cast with that bait when you went back to it? Yes. Cool. Good job. Thank you. Did he? Oh. And that's the extra or the uh, yeah, lucky crab? So you don't want me to net him with them treble hooks? It'd be safer. Let me just get him in a net. They're easy to deal with. Okay. He's right here. I understand, but it's just safer this way. Oh, where's Howie's floor? This x trap has a lip on it, so it goes deeper than the standard x trap That's why I like it. Okay. Worked fine on that, Smalley. Let's get another one. Okay, here's a technique we do is we put a stick bait and a rod holder and that rod was just out there on its own yeah, while we're Howie. jigging on one side of the boat Walk fast. and uh, I know it's not a big fish how we uh, all of a sudden it goes so now you put down your jig rod and you grab the stick bait fish but uh, yesterday that put four or five extra fish in the boat for us and today it's got uh, that's its first one so far today easy technique to do if you're on a current seam it works great I got enough There we got him, Hal. There's uh, Howie's, and, and Al's got one coming in on stick bait on this side. So there's a double for us on the stick baits. Now, Al was working his. That's that deep diver, Al, you had? Yep. You want to throw that one back out, Hal? Yes, Just let him out there. A little more, bud. There we go. Oh, it would help if I pull him in. <laughs> Oh, what do we got here, Rob? We got, you got pliers right in front of you. We got a match. The red handle. Oh, look at that. He's out. All right, great. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> uh, we've had some of that. We've had, we've had all kinds. Well, what do you hear this Now, this spot? was a stick bait that that rod was hanging there again. Howie looked down, and there it went. Oh, he just got off. What bait, Howie? Smoke purple tube. Smoke purple tube. That's been the best so far. Never heard of them. <laughs> this fish is all spotted. Let me get out of your way. Right? You're good. Uh -oh. oh, a lot of blotchy bass syndrome on that fish. Look at oh, him. he's ugly. Oh. Blotchy bass. Horrible. Then I'll fish this side out. Okay. You don't want to pop him over. Gotcha. Howie's got fishing rod in hand, and Al's got, uh, I'm not sure what Al's got in hand. Good fish, Howie. Slide him in, please. There you go. Another nice fish, buddy. Quality smaller. Thank you, Lord. Just get a length on him. That's a good fish. You know what, There's another 18-incher going back. Caught on the Winco Custom Tube. Smoke purple fleck. Tube. Smoke purple tube. Where are they, Hal? Right below the uh, trees here. Right over here. That's where I've been casting. Come on, drop that rod for you when you get. Uh-oh, Howie. Al's pulling out new tricks. That's a new color. What do you got there, Al? What, what color is that? This is a laminated June bug roadkill camo. Look at that. He's got two different colors on there, guys. He's got June bug on that side, roadkill on the other. You Interesting. Know what he's going to pull out of his bag. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls that out and he's always got something. boats a fish. Fish committed suicide. That's why I call Howie lost the crinkle cut worm and put the tube back on, and there he's on him again. We just drifted back about 10 yards. I can net them if you want. Thank you. Yeah. That was a mush mouth, totally. Uh, another no. soft bite. That was a mush. Even the ones we're getting today, uh, it's just a tick. There's no, nobody's slamming it today yet. He mad, he says. Yeah. That's not a bad fish, Al. Yeah, that's bad. Oh. 
<laughs> keeps for quick release. That's what it keeps for. That looks like, uh, is that that laminated tube? Three guesses what tube I have. Laminated tube. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get them? Oh. Stretch a little bit. Yuppie, yuppie, yuppie. There you go. Nicer fish than I thought. Yeah. Okay, what'd you get? What do you got in there, Al? This is a Tasty Tube Supreme with a flutter head. Tasty Tube Supreme Probably with a flutter head. Probably the most snag resistant tube jig rig you could fish. Okay, let me zoom in on that flutter head. This, this has a solid nose in the front that holds the hitchhiker coil keeper, glides across the rocks. It's an awesome setup. Nice. It's working good. Zero. Are they? Because I didn't, uh, we didn't do a fish in there. Do you have any Did you do any at the ledge? I mean, not to a purple. We'll kill two of them. Wow. I got one of them. Sure. As far as we're willing to. Huh? I don't know. I, I didn't do anything right below the Rockville Bridge, and I, I, I fished it down to the big tree at the bottom of that eddy. We didn't do a fish in there. I don't know, maybe maybe somebody got there before us and stung them or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, I, I checked that the other day and we foul hooked a carp in there. That was it. There's one as you go down towards the road. You see a bunch of trees coming in. <laughs> oh, how he went to the... Flutter head and the laminated tube, eh? You gave it up, Al. You gave up your secret. Help your buddy out. That secret's been out for a while. This is a lot of guys that just have to pitch open hook too. Because they think these don't hook fit. <laughs> nice fish, Al. Huh? Thank you. Yeah, buddy. All right, now cut it off and give it back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this has solid nose. And this holds the hitchhiker coil keeper, which you screw in there. Oh, that's a hitchhiker. Okay. Yep. Now, dark side up. We put this in the tube just before the tails start. Right before the tentacles? Yep. Now, okay. this is the tricky. When you come out the top, you want to move it back. That way, a text post hook lays flat and the tube will not ride up on it. Nice. That's the proper rigging. That's it. Good job, Al. There you go, you heard it from the man who builds them. Mr. Allen. Um, that's that's a Chris Gorsuch too color. Is it? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm back out. <laughs> Be careful. I'm dangerous. You know I'm not stable. Oh. Is that mentally or physically? Huh? Mentally or physically? Well, both. <laughs> I'm mentally challenged and physically challenged. <laughs> Look at Al switching it up and going to a stick bait on us. Nice fish, buddy. Oh, yeah, there we go. A few small black spots on him, Rod. Yeah, blotchy bass syndrome again. Hey, little blotchies here and there. Yeah. See ya. Thank you, Lord. Another good fish. There's a 18 and a quarter going back. Blind in one eye, missing an eye, yeah. And that was on a new bait. No. Huh? This is uh This is the first we threw this today. And actually it was the first cast that caught a fish, so Willie wannabe, right? Willie wannabe. There it is. Winco custom lures. Oh, how, oh, how are we making the switch to the Willy Wannabe? <laughs> Thank you, Lord. There's another good one in the boat on the Willy Wannabe. That's two on that now, and we lost one on it. Hey, you went up. <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> 
This little demonstration is designed to show anglers how to rig the River Rascal swim bait. This is a solid body swim bait. It's 3.25 inches long. This particular model is what I call my gizzard shad, and it has the horizontal chartreuse stripes on both sides. We're going to use a flutter head with a hitchhiker coil keeper on it. It has a blunt nose on it. A little bit of pressure rotating the swim bait towards your body, or clockwise if you will. Put that all the way on. And we're going to text pose rig this now. I take my thumb and I hold it where the bend of the hook goes in. Should go in. Bunch it up just a little bit. Hook point in. Straight through the top. And we have a text post. I have it on a little bit of an angle. Easy to correct. And that's a properly rigged 3.25 inch solid body river rascal swim bait. Now, if you're going to encounter submerged wood or weed, you can needle stick the hook back into the body just a little bit. This made it weedless. Make it weedless. All right. Let's hit this, close the hook. Nice little swim bait, works well. All right, thanks, Al. Let's go get some fish. Ah, look at you with a stick bait fish. No, catch them on the wing coat lures. And Keep them uh, off the boat. We gotta catch them on what they're hitting. They'll hit them. Da -da -da, da -da -da. We always have that music. Okay. Got a tube fish coming in. That's the Winko Custom 2. Smoke purple. Ow, oh, another stick bait fish. Is that the X wrap now? Yeah. That's the one without the lip on it. That's the big one. Hold on. Chunky guy. <coughs> Allie, what stick bait do you have on? Don't tell him. <laughs> He's not going to see it. Excalibur. Oh, uh, watch my rod tip there. Excalibur. I see you, brother. That's a chunky guy, huh? Nice fish, dude. Wow. Nice, healthy looking. Yeah, chunky fish, huh? He's stuck on his tail here. How are you? Ex Excalibur. Twitch bait. Twitch bait. There we go. One getting ready to go back in the Winco tube, and Al's got one. Oh, nice fish. One goes back. One comes in. I'll be right behind you. I'm gonna sit down. I don't know if I can get up. Oh. Now he's tubing back here. He's got one coming. Well, I haven't seen that color yet. He snuck that one in there. Only rides it right along. <laughs> Look at that one. What do you call him? That, that's an original Bobby Garland gets it. It was hot up in thousands. You're hours. telling stories. Years ago. That's lime green smoke. Look at that smoke tail, lime green. Howie, we thank Green Smoke Tube again. Goes the river, bro. You got a toad there, Howie, or what? We'll see. Ah. Nope. The baby toad. <laughs> <laughs> He's acting twice as Love the size. tug either way, man. He's acting the battle twice in small now. Yeah. Uh, what'd you go to Lucky Craft? Yeah, we had to go to, we had to, go to high dollar bait. <laughs> Not Howie. He, oh, look at this little guy coming in there. He's hot. Though. Yeah, he is. Oh, over this way. Rod's over here. There we uh -oh, go. Oh, now we got him in the net. Oh, now, well, 
That might work well. Since there's no you trout fishing, hell, or what? <laughs> <laughs> he's a catching. The catch he's, he's not qualifying. He's just putting them in the boat. He's I going. Just, I was just born last fall. <laughs> Oh my god, juvenile delinquent. <laughs> oh. That's on that tube again, though. This fish is getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Open up. Another tube fish. Winco Custom Tubes, at it again. I think we found some fish. Oh, that sounded a little bit bigger. Oh, there's a double coming in. That's what we like to see. Tube fish, tube fish, and a uh, stick bait fish. Go left, Howie. Go left. There you go. I don't know if it's the quality of the fisherman or the guide or both. What do you think, Rod? <laughs> I think it's a combination. Oh, okay. I, I think Jesus is in this boat, and we're blessed. That's what I think. Spot's never been fished before, right? Why, why did he just fish? Because you're, you, he's double hooked now. Is he coming sideways? Yep. Jeez. Correct. There he broke free. You should have a head on him now, I think. Nope, he's still double hooked. Al, you're gonna have to hold on. Hold on, Al. You're bringing him in the motor, bud. What? Don't, don't. Re okay, now bring him. Hold on. We got him. Real, 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 real. He's out. He's unhooked now too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we. Uh, I choked at that first. Come on. Got a stick. Uh oh, he's under. No, there he is. He's gonna be under a rock there. Come on. Another stick bait fish. We had the camera put away. It was raining. Oh, my rod. Oh. <laughs> nice fish. Thank you, Lord. That's a big one. Oh. Now, what, what color is that, Al? Huh? Or Hallie? That's the roadkill camo. Roadkill. bug. Okay. That's that laminated one we had laminated earlier. Laminated roadkill camo. And June bug on a uh, quarter ounce flutterhead jig. It's the Tasty Tube Supreme. Tasty Tube Supreme. Thank you. We did a reverse flip. Uh, we just lost two now. All right. All right. We got a uh, crinkle cut worm fish coming in here. Rain stopped now, but look at the fog rolling in. We got to get way down river yet. Be careful. Crinkle cut worm. Fish coming in here. Yeah, another crinkle cut fish coming. Hey, he took my crinkle cut. Oh, poor baby. Oh another, my God, another crink so That's a fall fish. Uh, two. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, day two of our uh, Winco Custom Lures excursion. Here, we changed locations today. They're calling for heavy winds all day, gusts to 30. And uh, so we changed locations, hopefully get out of the wind a little bit. And uh, looking forward to the Lord blessing us with some more fish. Had a good day yesterday. What's that one on, Howie? Baby predator crawl. Oh, predator crawl. Baby, yeah. The Baby, one. all right. Okay. Good. Good job. Thank you. Another Winco Custom Lure predator crawl. We didn't use them yesterday, did we? That's the little one. All right, baby. They're just launching. The hell with the pen rock through. They're right in his pocket. Another little guy. It's all right. He At least we're getting the tug today. He liked it. <laughs> he liked he, it. He liked that cold water hair's delight. Cold water hair's delight. That's we threw a couple of them right. yesterday. I'll give you a close up. Yeah. Now this is this is cross cut rabbit hair, and it looks like a, a dead muskrat, if you will, when it's wet. But when it gets in the water, it opens up and flares out. It's on a stand-up head. It stands up off the bottom, and that tail wiggles. See you later, guy. Yeah, drop that in there so we can show them what the hair does. Huh? Oh, Just lay it right beside the boat. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, now put him in the water so we can show him how. It Oh yeah, look at that. It, opens it grows, up. just opens up like that. That actually breathes, Rod. That don't, those hairs move. Cool. They do, oh yeah. Another four pounder, Howie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One of those three, four, five, six pounders. Baby predator crawl again? Yes. Yeah, that's All a right. better fish. Yeah. Healthy looking fish. Right in the Baby roof. predator crawl. Right in the roof of the mouth. Perfect. 
Yeah, because that jig doesn't roll on the side. That's why he's hooked in the center of the mouth. It's got central balance. The jig stands up like this on the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That happens to be well, Susquehanna. What color you call that? Susquehanna crawl. It's got a blue glimmer to it. Susquehanna crawl. Beautiful. Stand up head jig. I like it. There's a third lure this morning. A crinkle cut worm fish coming in. Winko Custom Lures doing it again. Allie's still in the baby predator car. He's got another He's one. He's the only one going to a baby predator. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice, huh? No big ones today, but at least we're getting to love the tug. Put them in the front of the boat. Right. <laughs> another post front bass. They're all good. And, and <laughs> you call that color what again? Susquehanna Craw. Susquehanna Craw. Okay. And there goes Al. <laughs> well, of, course. <laughs> of course. Okay, Al just broke out a secret bait here that we haven't fished yet. <laughs> so we got second cast and we got a small one. So this is a, a shorter tube body with long tails. Long tentacles. Well, I can tell you tell your your customers how to make that. That's just made out of a three and a half inch tube mold. I shorten the body. And I a little bit of the segmented section on the tails, and then I melt it onto the other one. Or you can glue it, but I melt them on there. It's... That, that's why I buy my lures from you and let you do it. You can't get any of those rods. <laughs> You're not making any more of those, huh? <laughs> did you did you put that new one on, Howie? Yes, I did. Okay, so that's uh, I just landed one, and there's another one coming. That's three on that bait since we put it on. Rod, honestly, I think Cabin Creek makes it makes a small tube. I just cut big tubes down and mull them together. But that's yeah, but you're going to get a mold for that, right? To make smaller yeah, tubes? Yeah, I got a small mold on order for All that. All right, good deal. That's uh, beautiful. Okay, the master was, is showing us how to do it. <laughs> this is where it's at. On this little rod, it's fun. That is a tiny short rod. What is that, five and a half foot? Yeah, it's an ultra light. Everything's a monster on that rod. Oh, yeah. Actually, that one isn't bad. I don't know. Not a bad fish for post front. Right. Oh, we got some... want me to... oh, it's longer. You want the net? Yeah, for him. That I'll, I'll break the leader on it. Not a problem, we're right here. That's longer, man. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, what's that thing on the back of your rod there? Rod, it's, a, it's a rod balancer. A rod balancer? Yeah, it's it's it's. Uh, I think Larry Dahlberg made these. It has lead weights in it. You can adjust the weights. That rod will sit right, right in the palm of my hand. I don't have to make it. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. It's balanced. It's not tip heavy. Yeah. Especially with this post front winter bite, if you will, that we have here. Uh, they're just ticking them, or it's like a wet leaf bite. I could take this rod and have a loose grip, load the rod tip up just a little bit. You'll see if it's a fish on the end of it. Very comf comfortable to fish, and you're not fighting that constant rod tip dropping. Well, how, how do you determine that it's balanced? You add one weight at a time, or how do you do well, that? Well, the, the, these kits are kind of hard to find now. They come with three weights. Most rods I find are one, one weight and a quarter or two quarters. Now, casting rods sometimes will take two weights and one quarter, but they're removable. I have tape around this one. Okay. Uh, is it, so do they screw on or is it a rubber no, pop just, on? Just, oh, they, look at Howie. He's got, my, fit on my we're talking and Howie's catching fish. <laughs> I'll let you get back to fishing, Al. <laughs> I give I give him a tube, Rod. He's catching fish. I, I know. A tube back, That's Howie. that special tube you gave us. I know. It's the smallest bass in the world. Uh, the smallest bass. Oh, my goodness. That is a baby. Howie's got the dink of the day. Post front dinks. Here they are. You feel guilty, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but we're still loving the tug. He's got a rod balancer on his rod, you see? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You guys both have them. On all yeah. my rods. You have it on all your rods, too. Every okay. single one. Al's hooked up again. We're having so much fun in this 30 mile an hour northwest <laughs> wind here. <laughs> and the wind's a hound. And this light rod's doing the trick. You little fatty. Yeah. There's that little special tube of owls. Well, quality well, smallmouth. Beautiful fish. Rod, it's, it's a flexible uh, metal 
we put on it. It's not metal. It's actually a, a, a braided, uh, flexible wire guard to keep you from getting snagged a lot. Yeah, we'd be losing That's, a lot more jigs if we didn't have it. Oh, uh, if you were fishing open hook tubes, you would have went through a 12 or 13 or 15 of them already. Is that pretty much standard when well, you fish tubes? That's the way I fish them in the rocky water. Yeah, yeah. either that or a Tasty Tube Supreme with the flutter heads. But on small tubes, I'll use a weighted head. That's an eighth ounce football jig inside there with a single wire guard on it. Okay. And the flexible Beautiful wire small guard one. is the key. I, I do not like stiff wire guards at all. 18 and three quarter inch beautiful small leg on back. Thank you, Lord. It's a good fish. fish. <laughs> Howie was hung up there and he snapped that jig off the rock. Do you need a net on that one, Howie? And the fish yeah, ate it. I go for a net here. Okay, I'll be right there. Yeah, popped it off the rock. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I saw the whole thing. The rock and then he, I felt the tap. Get him in there. Whoa. Yeah, I'd like to get a picture of that one. Good job. Thank that was you. cool. All right. I wanted to try this bank here by the railroad tracks. And, oh, yeah. Who and, said? and how he saw it, and he said, that looks like baby predator crawl water, and he put one on, and there's a fish. No, Al wanted to come here and fish this. I said Al wanted to come here and fish this, and how he saw it, and he said, looks like baby predator crawl. And he's got one in the boat on the baby predator girl. Oh, nice fish. Oh, thank you. Good job, hi. Thanks. They're all nice. Why have a... He put up a fight, though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> tube, Hallie? Yeah, that green tube. That was... I had four misses down there. <laughs> four. All right, we came in a little back cove to get out of the wind, and Howie picked one up in here. Not big, but love the tug. Good job, Howie. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We got in here out of the wind, and there's fish in here. That's a good deal. You got another one, Howie? Yeah. You are the man. <laughs> I'm the man with your tubes. <laughs> <laughs> Winco Custom Tubes. We're on them, brother. Nah, he bought them at Walmart. <laughs> Two bags for three dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Not a bad fish, Howie. Thank Good you. looking hefty fish. Wannabe fish. Yeah, he said that Willie Wannabe was just laying in the bottom. Oh, nice fish! Oh! <laughs> okay, wrapping up the video from today. We, we quit at a half day. We had uh, 19 smallies. Big one was 18 and three quarter. The reason we quit, you can see here in my office. And, uh, the wind was just brutal. The wind was getting 